Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use tissue papers in art journal backgrounds and focal point. So I have here some tissue papers. They are colorful patterns. I made them myself with a gel plate. Basically, you can make your own patterns and colors of tissue papers simply by stamping on them, coloring them, drawing on them, painting on them, uh, using a gel plate, stencils, uh, masks, any technique that you do on an art journal page or a mixed media project you can do on a tissue paper, just a plain white tissue paper, and then you can add your own images, patterns, and colors and make custom tissue papers. You can also use store-bought tissue papers. Tim Holtz has really nice ones um, in black and white and in color with different images and text and all kinds of really cool things. So what I'm doing, I'm using gel medium. You can also use Mod Podge and I am attaching the tissue papers to the art journal page. I'm applying glue to the page itself, attaching the tissue paper, and then adding another layer of gel medium or Mod Podge on top of the tissue paper to seal it. And I'm creating sort of a collage, combining different patterns and different colors on the background. And you can cut around the shapes, just pick out the shapes that you want you can tear the paper. It doesn't really matter because once you use Mod Podge or Gel Medium, you the tissue paper is so thin that it basically embeds the paper to the art journal page. So that is why we need a layer on the bottom and a layer of, on the top of the tissue paper. And it becomes a part of the page so it's really really cool effect that you can do and I've also used uh, the tissue paper that you get when you buy some shoes I took that out of the box and added some stamping on it and even store-bought sometimes when you go to the store and they wrap it for you then they add pieces of tissue paper sometimes it even has a pattern on it you can use that too any type of tissue paper will work here and the cool thing is that you can do layers because the tissue paper is so thin you can layer one tissue paper on top of the other and when you add the glue it becomes transparent and then you see the layer underneath and then you can go ahead and work on your background and create something like this this is the original page that I made using the tissue paper so now I'm going to show you how to make your own custom tissue paper and use it as a focal point. So this is just a plain white tissue paper and I'm using a permanent black marker to draw some images. So I'm making, I'm drawing some faces, very basic circle faces and basically you can draw any drawing or image that you want and if you're not comfortable with your drawing you can stamp. Just make sure that you use a permanent ink. Permanent, that means it doesn't react with liquid or water because when you attach the tissue paper to the page with Mod Podge or Gel Medium, you can smear your ink if it's not permanent. So that's why you need a permanent pen or a permanent ink to create your images or patterns on the tissue paper. So I'm using black because I want, I have an already made background on my art journal and it is colorful. So I need something that will stand out. So I'm using black and these faces are pretty basic. And that's what I want to make. And you can get so many tissue papers, so if you don't like one drawing, you can just make another one. So I'm just going to make a few more faces. 
I really like to like working with tissue paper on my in my art journal and also on mixed media canvases it works really well you can also add it to scrapbook pages because usually the 12 by 12 cardstock or mini albums pages that you make are sturdy and thick enough to absorb the Mod Podge or gel medium that you use to attach the tissue paper and they won't curl so you can use it in scrapbooking and mini albums as well cutting out the faces now I'm using scissors because this way I have more control if I tear them I might tear the faces and I don't want that so this is my background it's uneven as you can see and now I'm using gel medium again you can use Mod Podge to attach the tissue paper faces to the background and again you just need to add a layer on the page itself and then on top of the tissue paper this will what happens is that the tissue paper absorbs the liquid in the gel medium and then it becomes transparent and the only thing you can see is the black lines or if you used other colors than other colors basically it embeds the tissue paper onto the page that is why working with tissue papers is really very cool technique now you can still see a little bit of the gel medium but it dries clear so then you will just see the drawings the black drawings so my background is done with distress inks and they react with the gel medium so I'm applying the glue onto the face and then adding that extra layer so the paint will not smear the distress ink will not smear So I have five faces that I want to add to my page and then I'll be able to show you how to finish or what it looks like when it's finished. See it's very thin so you have to work carefully not to tear the paper but even if you do tear it just glue it down with the gel medium nobody will know not even you so I really hope you like this technique and that you will try using tissue paper it's a really cool technique to use like I said in scrapbooking mixed media art journaling even cards and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects so let's see how the page looks this is the faces these are the faces that are basically the focal point and this is how the page looks when it's finished thank you very much for joining me and i will see you next time